In this personal video I will show you how to make the holding contact and also explain why it is used. Making the installation two buttons to start and stop the motor. To make this connection we will use two buttons, a red one to turn off and a green one to be able to start the motor. These buttons are not just the colors that are different, the contacts too. The green button to start the motor has the normally open N.O contact, working as follows, without power the contact is open and when the button is pressed the contact will close and the motor will start. The normally open green button has terminals 3 and 4, 3 is the input and 4 is the output. Contato NO The red button has the normally closed NC contact. The red normally closed button has terminals 1 and 2, 1 is input and 2 is output. The button is a push button, that means that during the moment the contact is pressed, the contact is activated, but when we release the button's pressure, the contact returns to its old position. The contact is activated, but when we release the button's pressure, the contact returns to its old position. We are going to install only the green button to start the motor and to better understand why the contact is made by holding. Making a contactor connection, we start with the power circuit, connecting the three-phase conductors to the three-phase general circuit breaker and then we leave with the three conductors and connect to terminals 1, 3 and 5 of the contactor, and contacts 2, 4 and 6 we connect on the motor. We connect the direct neutral to A2 of the contactor coil, then we connect the other phase to terminal 3 of the green button and output another phase to terminal 4 of the button to A1 of the contactor. When the button is pressed, the contactor will close the contacts and start the motor. However, it is necessary to keep the button pressed to keep the motor running. When the finger is removed from the button, the button returns to the old position and will turn off the motor, which is why we need the contact holding. Now to make the holding contact, let's keep the power circuit connection and change only the command circuit. Then we connect another conductor to terminal 3 of the button and connect it to auxiliary contact 13 of the contactor. On terminal 4 of the button we connect another conductor and connect it to auxiliary contact 14 of the contactor. In this way, we made a parallel path for the energy to pass, which keeps the contactor on without the button being pressed, using the contactor's auxiliary contacts. Now when we press the button, the contactor will stay on because of the contact holding, because it now has a parallel path for the power to pass through and keep the motor running. To be able to turn off the circuit is now very simple, just place a turn off button before the contact holding it. We connect the input to terminal 1 of the red button and the output to terminal 2 together with input 3 of the green button. In this way, we can start the motor and stop the motor using the holding contact. And there you guys are enjoying the sequence of electrical commands videos, so leave your like because it helps me a lot and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until the next video and thanks for watching.